entrepreneur started her company in her kitchen with less than $1,000. Now, her products grace the shelves of more than 530 retail stores. Her Ghanaian culture is deeply rooted in her passion for skincare. And here with more on her brand, Hana Hana, beauty founder and CEO, Abana Buama. Hi. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Okay, so Sarah just mentioned this, but I mean, my goodness, we've got to elaborate on this story. So you started with less than a thousand dollars in your kitchen. Yes. So okay, so what made you think that like I'm going to start a new skincare line? So I was actually a seventh grade teacher, uh -huh. um, and I had moved to Chicago. It's very cold here. My it skin is. was a little dry. <laughs> yes. I was getting a little ashy, and I started creating products for myself. Uh, the kitchen, I'm Ghanaian. I've seen my mom create shea butter at home, and I thought, okay, maybe I can make it jazz it up a bit, whip it up, and I would just give it out to friends and family. No intention on actually creating a business. Um, but then I was really interested about the shea industry and how things were being produced. And just the more I learned more about it, I was like, okay, if I'm gonna start a business, I might as well be intentional about how we source our products. So mm -hmm. I kind of just started from there. I feel like we glossed over the fact that you used to be a teacher. Like yes. You were teaching seventh grade algebra, yes. and then you're like, oh, I'm going to start a skincare line. Yeah, I was <laughs> teaching seventh grade algebra. I was actually, I attended Loyola for my master's, so yeah. I was doing all of that at the same time. I would like bike to school, bike to other school, and then oh. come home whipping products. And I'm sure a lot of um, sweat, blood, and tears later. Fast forward, now you're in over 530 Ulta stores. Yes. Did you ever think you, I mean, you've made it. Did you ever think this was going to happen? Awesome. Honestly, no. <laughs> no, but I feel like at, as we started and how I saw like our community really rally around us and people love the products. And so when Ulta reached out, I was just like, wow, this is a great opportunity, the best way to continue to reach more people. And at the end of the day, we don't want people to be ashy. So <laughs> the products are there at Ulta. Yeah. Yes. You know? Okay, you mentioned your sourcing. Yes. Um, sustainable, ethical. Can yes. you talk a little bit more about that? Yes, so we source directly from producers in mm -hmm. Ghana and Tamale. So um, shea butter is produced in over 19 countries on the continent in Africa. And Ghana is one of the main producers. So we source directly um, from Katarga Women's Cooperative. And what we do is we pay two times the asking price wow. for raw materials. So you pay double. Yes. My goodness, yes. that's fantastic. Okay, well, all right. Now that it's in front of us, yes. you've told us the background of this incredible product line yeah. that you created. Yeah. Um, okay, what are your favorites? Okay, so bamboo coconut. Um, if you wanna, like, if you like coconut, bamboo vacation vibes, this is uh -huh. the one for you. Ooh. I'll let you guys smell okay. it. Mmm. Oh, yes. Oh, it yeah. smells I wanna, like vacation. <laughs> I want to eat it. Yes. Well, but you can definitely. <laughs> Don't eat it, some. Okay, so I know. Eat it. <laughs> okay. Do you get that go. complaint for customers? We yes, just want to eat it. Like, let's oh. just eat it, actually. Yeah. You know <laughs> oh, wow. Right? Yes. Oh, that's really nice. And so it rubs right in. It's oh. great after the shower. And the thing is, like, our shea body butters are made with mango, uh -huh. cocoa, shea, and five different oils. So really great for anyone that has sensitive skin. If you deal with really dry skin, it's perfect for you. And it also, I can tell, a little goes a long way. A little goes right? a yes. long way. Literally a little goes a long way. Now, do you still great. have family in Ghana that you're you're talking to, you're working with them directly? Yeah, so we have a yeah. team in Ghana, too. We I go back, actually, when I started, I would travel back and forth. Um, and then I definitely have family in Ghana, too. They're very excited to right. see all these things happening. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like this will be good for sensitive skin. It seems yes. like all natural. Yes, all natural. And especially, it's good for kids, too. So we have our unscented and our lavender Ooh, vanilla. Okay. So unscented. Perfect. Scented, though we don't add any fragrance, it has that natural oh, cocoa this butter. This is me. Oh, this is for right? me because I have some allergies to scents. Yeah, and this is perfect. So this is really great. People use it on their kids. We always say like moms are the ones that are telling everyone because they're like, it works for me, it works for my parents. Yes, yeah. all one. So if wonderful. you feel comfortable enough putting something on your kid, you know it's, it's gonna true. be good. exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And then this is our best seller, our uh -huh. amber vanilla. Um, it's actually been inspiring some things that we're creating coming uh -huh. up in the future. Ooh, what are we? What are we doing in the future? Okay. Sure, okay. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So we have our um, seventh anniversary coming up. Beautiful. In March. So uh -huh. we've actually been working, yeah. um, collaborating with a local fragrance brand called Universe of Hearth for something new. And so that was all inspired by Amber Vanilla. Let me tell you, I feel like I'm on a tropical vacation right now. <laughs> so Amazing. this is great. All lathered up, ready yeah. to drink that Miller Lights Here on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Of this course, is amazing. Of course. Such a great story. For more on Hanahana Hana Beauty, head to hanahanabeauty.com. Thank oh, you. Love it.